What's going on YouTube? I am JohnPon09 and today we are going to learn about how to set up OBS and connect it to your YouTube account and be able to go live for the first time. So this is going to be a very um, basic introductory type tutorial um, for those people that are either brand new to streaming using a PC or possibly brand new to streaming uh, in general. Uh, we're gonna talk about how to set up sources and scenes in OBS um, and connect all of it to YouTube so that you can officially go live. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. I have the link for OBS um, in the description. It is a completely free software. You just need to download and install it. There's no even paid features or subscriptions or premium version or anything like that. Um, you just download it from the website, install it onto your computer, and then you are good to go at least with the software part of it. Once you download and install it, you'll have something similar to this, except for your scenes and sources will all be blank and your docs will certainly be in a different position than mine are here. Um, so what we're gonna look at first is actually how to connect um, this software to your YouTube account. So the first thing that we're gonna do is open up our YouTube studio studio.youtube.com and then at the top right we're gonna click on this create button and then choose uh, go live um, it, it will take you to a screen that looks like this um, do know if this is your first time trying or accessing this part of the studio app uh, you will have to request access permission to go live from YouTube. Basically, they just have to um, verify your account. It takes about 24 hours um, for the first time, but then you don't have to, to do that again. So just something to keep in mind if you have never been to this section of your studio app. Um, down here in the stream settings, you'll see the stream key and then you'll see a um, censored uh, stream key here. Um, there are different options for this. If you are going to be streaming on a PC and streaming PC games and you have a fast internet inter internet, internet connection, easy for me to say, um, I would recommend using 1440p. If you have kind of a slower internet connection or if you're just going to be streaming console games using a capture card like an Elgato, I would recommend just using the default stream key. And I'll go into the differences on these on a later video. Um, but for right now, um, that's what we'll need to know. Um, so whichever one that you choose there, uh, the stream key is actually right here. You just press, uh, we'll just press copy uh, to get that. The reason why this is um, censored right here is because if someone were to get access to the stream key, they would be able to stream to your account without your control. So you do want to keep this private. Um, this is essentially as important, if not more important, as the password to your account. Um, so you want to make sure that you never show that um, on stream or share it with anybody uh, unscrupulous, we'll say. Uh, so once we have that copied, uh, we're just going to go into the settings over here in the YouTube studio. And we're going to go to um, stream. And then here you can select different services such as Facebook, Twitch, YouTube. Um, if you're using a different um, service that is not in this list, such as Kick, um, you would have to do custom and we'll go through instructions on that later. For now, we'll just do YouTube. Um, and then what's recommended is actually to connect your account. I actually prefer to just use the stream key, which we just copied um, from the studio um, website or studio app, whatever, YouTube studio. So you can actually just paste that stream key that we just copied uh, right here and then just press apply. Um, the reason why I do it this way instead of connect the account, um, for whatever reason, you may want to have two different stream keys here. You might want to have a default and a 1440p, um, you know, just depending on maybe your internet kind of varies or um, you do console and PC gaming. You may, may want two stream keys for whatever reason. Anyways, um, once you press apply, um, then your OBS software will be officially connected to your YouTube account. So then when we, when we go to start streaming, um, whatever is whatever source that you're on, it will stream the source as well as, or I'm sorry, it will stream the scene as well as whatever sources are with the scene. A lot of S words there. <laughs> um, so YouTube, once you press start streaming, um, 
in this preview if you don't have your stream scheduled if it's just a regular live stream there's about a six second delay but once you press go live you'll immediately uh, be live on youtube and see the um you'll see the um preview here and then you can start looking at your um, stream settings and uh, analytics health like things like that all right, so basically um, what we have here, and I do have my docs in different positions, but you'll have all these basic docs when you first download the program. Um, the first thing that we'll need to do is set up a scene. A scene is basically just a collection of sources. So right now the scene that I'm on is my reaction scene. Obviously I have quite a few uh, for streaming and different types of content that I do. Right now I just call this one reaction and the collection of sources that I have here um, are what you're seeing on the screen and what is in this display window here. Obviously it's on my screen and also um, getting the preview here. So we have just this infinite window um, happening, but obviously if you are just watching um, the stream, you wouldn't have, you know, you wouldn't have OBS on this screen. You would have it on either another monitor or minimized. Um, and you would have the content that you're playing, you know, in this area. Uh, so what we can do to um, basically set up a scene, very simple, you just press the add scene button right here, this little plus sign, and then you can just name it whatever you want. Uh, if it's the first scene, you might just wanna do main uh, or default, something like that, just to get it going. Um, I would recommend whether you're gonna be doing PC gaming or um, console gaming, that you do set up a scene that allows you to show your display to chat just in case maybe you want to watch a, a trailer or maybe you want to react to other content um, or you're, you know, if you're not in the gaming space at all, I would definitely recommend, you know, all streamers should have a way to show their desktop at some point. It can be very helpful. Once you have a scene added, um, then you can start adding the sources. These are the things that are going to be streamed to YouTube or other sources, any type of audio, video, um, or other type of media. Um, so we can add a source, same way, by pressing this add source plus sign right here. Then OBS is going to ask you what type of source that you would want to add, and you see there's a lot of uh, different options here. The one that I'm using right now uh, that you're mostly seeing is the um, display capture option. So you could select that um, if you want to add a display capture um, scene it will ask you if you want to create a new one or add existing. Obviously, if it's the first one, you'll have to create new, but something to note, you can add an existing source to different scenes. So once you have the source added, such as uh, my microphone or the display capture, once you have it added to one scene, you don't have to continually keep doing the step. You can just go to add existing and add that same, um, that same source. Uh, so we're not going to create it, but basically uh, when you do create it, um, it'll ask you if you have multiple displays, which display you would want to, um, uh, which display you want it, want it to show. Um, and then you also have filters and properties um, like you do for uh, most sources. Uh, one thing to note here as well. Um, so this is a face, my face cam source. Um, that is a, um, uh, video capture device um, so if you're adding a webcam it would be the video capture device and then it'll ask you it'll basically read all of the different hardware connected to your computer and it'll ask you okay do you want this webcam do you want the if you're using a laptop do you want the integrated webcam uh, anything that falls into that category it'll ask you which one you want to set up um, another important one is an audio input capture if you're going to be using a USB mic you would want to select audio input capture and then select the microphone that is connected to your computer um, that you want for that source. Um, one thing to note here as well, if you've ever used Photoshop or another um, image uh, manipulation type software, editing software, um, it puts these things in layers. So everything at the top is at the forefront. And then as you go down, um, these things are in the background. So right now my face cam is above the display capture so that you can see it. But if I use this arrow here to move it down, my face cam is now hidden because it's behind the display capture. It's still active, but it's behind the display capture so you can't see it. 
Uh, you can also deactivate a source or hide it. I'm sorry, you can hide it by um, pressing the eyeball here and then unhide uh, like that, as well as uh, you can lock it into place and move it around. So if I unlock the face cam here, I can drag it around and choose where I want it to be uh, displayed. And then once I'm happy with where it is and the size of it here, I can just go ahead and lock it and then it'll uh, lock it in place there. Um, there are a lot of different properties and filters uh, depending on what type of source it is uh, specifically. So like um, I have a Blue Yeti microphone, but there are a lot of uh, filters and adjustments that I've made to it so that to get the specific sound that I want. Uh, we'll go over those in future videos. For now, we're just going to keep it pretty simple and, you know, connect what we have and then ready to and be ready to go live. Um, so once you have, you know, some audio, some video, uh, display capture set up, um, you are ready to go live. Uh, one thing too, before we get into how to actually start the stream, um, I did want to mention you can move these docks around. Uh, by pressing uh, the top right here, and then you can move these in different orders or different uh, positions. Well, there we go. Um, I have mine set up this way because I like my audio mixer to be at the top. It's just easier for me to be able to see while I'm uh, streaming. And then there's also like a transition, um, scene transition that is just not I just never used it, so I just removed that dock. You can click up here to uncheck them, and then that dock will no, no longer be um, showing. Um, all right, so now we're pretty much ready to start streaming once we have our scene, once we have our sources selected. Um, so when we press this button right here, OBS will ask us, are you sure you want to start the stream uh, once you confirm? Then in YouTube, if you don't have the stream scheduled, you'll start seeing the display here, usually about a five to six second delay um, after you actually press that button. So if it doesn't happen immediately, um, rest assured, it's just transferring the data and there is gonna be a slight delay on your live stream, um, no matter what. Um, there's gonna be about a five second uh, delay for it. Um, depending on your quality and other factors and settings that you choose in OBS, that will also um, def affect the delay. Um, there are a lot of other settings in OBS that we will be going over in future videos. Um, I promise it is more complicated than it looks. And once you understand kind of the general um, kind of lay of the land of it, it is much uh, simpler to kind of navigate, but we'll go over those settings um, in future videos. But for now, um, we were able to download and install OBS, set up scenes and sources, and we also connected our OBS to YouTube and we are ready to go live. Uh, if this video helped you, I'd definitely appreciate a thumbs up, uh, share it with a friend if they're also looking into how, if they're also looking into how to set up OBS or if they're interested in uh, streaming to YouTube or other platforms, definitely also check out my other videos for other helpful hints and tutorials on uh, streaming and uh, all your uh, settings in OBS. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope everybody has a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks.